What's up, everyone? Welcome back one more time. You know the deal. We play draft. Yeah, we are doing draft on this channel now. I'm going to try to do a weekly draft if possible, because I think that historic brawl players need to draft well, if only to complete your collection. And we're just going to, to play a Phyrexia all will be one draft and try to get to three, four wins so we get a good amount of gems back. That's what you want to get when you are drafting normally that's you 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 don't want to be below three you just want to be at four or above we open a cough good place walker in red searches mountains deals damage and then if the ultimate is not very relevant but is a very good overall place walker the other things that are very good are the Chorus here, very one, very good one drop. Do we have the Furnace Strider for the red deck? There is a Latisse Blade Mantis. And hopefully we will the Furnace Strider. That would be our best wheel if we are going to get on red. So yeah, we're going to pick the Cough. Pick one. A good pick one. And then pick two. We have a... Ho a Hexel Halberd, which is a very good equipment. Two drop for a first striking trampling two drop. And then there is a Ruthless Predation for the green red deck. For the white, there's a Planner Disruption. Or that could be good with with a uh, cough. But I think that we could start trying to dry the packs from red and get people away from red for a while so i'm just going to pick up the hex called halberd it's a very good equipment all right all right there's a full charge yeah sure you see some rare so you want do you, you don't want to do rare drafting if you just want to get to four wins i don't think you should be rare drafting even if you are trying to complete the collection it's easier if you just be good and you also will enjoy better the draft experience so just don't be tempted at getting these lands ball charge is amazing removal spell burn spell proliferate can proliferate our cough so i'm going to pick that i would like to wield this camp this camp is very good what do we have here there is a mirror convert for the toxic deck also a very good mana dork there's a Malkator's Watcher, which is one of my favorite cards in the set. There is a Cackler. This, this, um, this pack is not very good. Not very good. I am um, tempted at just picking up the Mere Convert here. Cackler is okay. Maybe I have to take the Cackler. But a 2-drop is very important in these formats. 2-drop Toxic 1 that accelerates our mana perfectly fine it's a very good start if possible i would try to be mono red just if only to maximize cough's ability but it's very difficult to be monocolor in this set i don't think we can be monocolor but maybe we dry the packs pretty hard from red and we lure people out of red but red is very contested i don't know so this is a very good start. We would like to find some good one drops. There is a slinger. There is a charge forger. Maybe we could be black red. The ramming bird for the proliferation deck is also really good. There is a white. There is a red blue proliferate proliferate uh, oil deck. I'm not sure which is better to move to blue red or to move to black red. Or to get in red overall. This is pick five. So Thrumming Bird pick five is a very good signal that blue is not being contested, at least. Or sits to our to our right. I think I'm just going to pick the Thrumming Bird. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we have the opportunity to make these these um oil deck proliferate deck with blue red because here the surgeon also can give flying to something with the oil counters otherwise there's nothing really good there's a shielded head cleaver 
or the Aspirant, but this is not very good unless you are in the equipment deck. So I'm just going to pick up the Surgeon. Ooh, Hazardous Blast. The Hazardous Blast is one of these... One of these cards that are really unassuming at the beginning of the format, but then this is a very good comment for the set, because sometimes you just get board stalled, and with this you can just, just win the game out of nowhere. So we could be taking these. Red seems to be where we want where we want to be. Tromorphic Expanse is another good pickup. As are those blasts might work though. There's more blue, but there's a Furnace Strider too. Augury to proliferate is fine, but we still have... I think that the best strategy in pack 1 is to try to to get mo the most from the color that you have open and that you have kind of committed to. Because if we pass the Strider, then someone will potentially move into red, if they are not already. So we take the Strider, and then here we don't have... Yeah, there's nothing really good. So now I'm happy to see a Terramorphic uh, Expanse to fix my mana. And then there is kind of nothing. Centurion is fine. Centurion could be good to force through some damage. Not an exciting card, but looks like we need also three drops. So I'm just going to take it. And then there is a Prowler. There's a Prowler. Prowler is okay. For an aggro deck, comes in, tap something down. You can force through more damage. Oh, there's the Augury. All right, so looks like blue red is a good place to be in these seats. Okay, take this to the sideboard and this to the sideboard. What do we open? Oh, all right. <laughs> we open Jace. Which is kind of a very good card if you can stick it to the battlefield, because if you take it up two or two times at least, then you mill then you do the ultimate and you mill them maybe you mill them 21 cards, something like that. There is the Unctus Retrofitter, but I think this one is going to mill. So blue looking good, nothing red for us. And I'm going to just slam a Jace in my deck. Flesh. We get past what? A Phyrexian Arena? The Lockbook is okay. Reservoir for the Oil deck is also very good. Question is, do we want to get that? Maybe we get the Gitaction Raptor. That's a... Gitaction Raptor is an amazing blocker. Just an amazing blocker. 1-4 stops a lot in this format. I'm tempted at taking just the the reservoir and wield the raptor because i don't think people are going to take the raptor so let's wield these get the um, reservoir let's wield the raptor let's wield the raptor oh wow that's a sentry but we also see here a scamp we see also a rabble i don't think we need more four drops for now i would like to get a couple of good one drops. There is an Iker Synthesizer, which is good in this deck. Chimney Rabble is good in every deck. But I think like we want to see some couple of one drops here. We have good four drops for now. We have Koth, we have Chase, we have the uh, well, Hazardous Blast. We want to see some good one drops. Uh, this one could wield too. Let's pick the Rabble. Scamp could wheel. Rebrax Anointer. That's very good. That is very good. There's a Mesmerizing Dose as a removal spell. We haven't picked removal. But the Dose is going to wheel. So we pick the Anointer. That is perfectly fine removal spell as well in form of a creature. And then we wield the Mesmerizing Dose. There's another Chimney Rabble, so we could get, get either or. But the Anointer is pretty good. Another Reservoir. Vivi Surgeon Insights to refill our hand. I don't think I want two Reservoirs. So probably the Insight. Insight is slow. 
but I don't want another reservoir. Take the ins the inside. In here, oh, there's a one drops scamp. Great, that's great. There's an Igor synthesizer too. Let's pick the scamp. Now I'm happier that I took the chimney rabble. Another augury. Oh, but there is an axiom engraver. Fantastic card in this deck. Engraver, also a very good blocker. Blocks a lot in this format. Augury is great as well. I feel like we want to have at least two engravers in this deck. And here, nothing. Maybe the bay. Probably the bay. Yeah. I'm not going to run another one of these, another one of that. Yeah, wow, that's it. Yes, we wield a raptor. We are so good at this. Yeah, we knew it's going it was going to wheel. So that's great. We picked up the um, we picked up the reservoir and we wield the raptor just as we planned. So happy to see this. The deck is very good already. And there is the logbook. I think in this old pack we also have a chimney rabble. Logbook is not very good. I'm going to pick these, but I'm not going to play it, probably. Oh, there's the Scamp, also Synthesizer or Scamp. Well, the Scamp is very good in this deck, isn't it? How many creatures do we have already? 12. Sure. So, Curator. Well, the deck is looking very good already, and we have one more pack to go. Amazing. Ah, it's a late Cultivator. Well, so now we open a perfectly fine monumental facade, which can help us put the oil counters in some of our creatures here. The raptors, the engravers. Then there is a free from flesh that we could wheel, but nothing else. There is a, another surgeon, which is a very good card, but this one is going to wheel for sure. So we might take the facade. Different flesh is great. Hmm. I think I just take the land. And what do we get past here? Another chimney rabble. A phyresis. There is a fusling, which is another very good. Oh, this is a very good card in the early game for us, isn't it? Yeah, we could be kind of a red blue aggro deck. Oil aggro deck. I don't think we want more four drops. One drops are great in this format. Maybe we get past the prologue to Phyresis, but I don't think we are even going to play that because we are not a poison deck. We are a blue red oil deck. The Freddy Gris Silex. That's so cool. And then there is a Theories, but we don't run many artifacts, just five. Ooh, but there is a Serum Core Chimera. I, I didn't see this one. This is great for our tag. We remove three oil counters and we draw a card. Then we might discard a non-land card and deal three to a creature or planeswalker. Yes, please. That's a perfectly good board drop for our deck. x Cold Slash. We really like to see this. There's a Punisher. Gleeful Demolition. But we need the removal spell. Would like to get back what? Maybe the Butter Fist? Nothing else from this pack? From this pack? Yeah, Slash is amazing. Amazing pickup. And there is another Thrumming Bird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thrumming Bird is perfect. Wow, the deck is. looks promising. And here we have a Golem. This is a lord for creatures with oil counters. Well, we also see a augury. It's a very good healer for our three drop curve, which is currently lacking. And another one drop. Wow, we could be really aggro with this deck. Can't we? I think we could be really, really aggro here. Another scamp. Do we want to run three scamps? I think we do. 
Then what? Another golem. Wow, well, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a very good oil oil deck. We could also get here the surgeon. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. There's a chimney rabble as well. Well, this deck is kind of bonkers. We'll see what we cut, but uh, this deck looks amazing. We can also pick another surgical bay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Really happy with this deck. A couple of things that we know we are not going to run. Fowler, ooh, another one of these taplands. Culbert, maybe we don't run it. Mirror Convert, maybe we don't run it. Chrome Prowler, maybe we don't run it. And there's a free from flesh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we need to cut something from our war drops. Cough? Yeah, I'm going to play Cough because it's a planeswalker. We need to cut some four drops. As of those blast, I don't know. Chimney Rabble, wow, our four drops look so insane. Ooh, what do we want to cut? 27, this looks like a 16 lander. What do we want to cut? Well, maybe BB Surgeons inside is our first cut. We want to cut two more things. Raptor, Centurion. We could cut a Centurion. And then we need to cut one of our four drops. Is Jace good? I think Jace is good. Of course he's good. Rabbles are great. Blast is pretty amazing in this deck. Where we are running 17 creatures. Anointer is great. Chimera is great. How many non-creature spells do we have? Not too many. We might have to just cut these. What are we going to... How are we going to put the counters on the Chimera? With the Reservoir? With the Free From Flesh? Experimental Augury. Do we have to cut the Chimera? It might be. We don't have many ways to put the oil counter, the first oil counter here. I'm just going to cut this one. Question is, do we want to go 16 lands? We also have many of these tab lands. We have a Terramorphic Expanse. We have a Furnace and two Surgical Base. So it's very likely that we need to run 17 lands. Do we? Mm -hmm. Probably yes. The question is what's best here? These are all very good. Maybe coffee is not good enough for this egg. Could be that coffee is not good enough. It could totally be that coffee is not good enough. Ah, uh, coffee's good enough. Three scumps, a slash, a free from flesh, a fuseling, and a reservoir. Then we have two surgeons, an augury, two thrumming birds, a engraver, raptor, wall charge, two golems, jays, rabbles, blast. Maybe Blast is, like, too cute. Yeah, let's cut the Blast. And then... Add the Lance. So a 17 lander. Are we going to get Mana Flooded from this? Oh my god. Kind of looks like a 16 lander. We remove the autonomous furnace. 
can maybe add the centurion Oh, we have the facade. Yeah, no, we run the facade. 17 lands plus the facade. I think we could play it this way. Seventeen lands plus the facade. We can draw cards from Jace. We can draw from the engraver. Yeah, this looks a little awkward for 17 lands. We could also play the mirror convert and just play 16. That might be the best thing to do. Maybe go prowler. Yeah, I will I would like to do this. Prowler and go down one surgical bay. So and you know what? I'm going to go down the two surgical bays. We need our lands untapped. And then we need 8, 14, 7. We could go down a island. Play like this. Okay, I like it. All right, let's give it a try. Well, here we are for the first round with our draft deck. It's a, it's a deck, so not very common in this format, but I think that we are in the right color. So opponent goes first. Good thing that we are running 16 lands. We are still drawing a handful of lands here. Opponent goes first. Yeah, we'll see. Going second in this format is pretty difficult. And they also have a scam. So we are already racing them. More lands. Ah. That's pretty bad. Well, we'll see. We need one of our two drops. We have so many two drops. They do too. Okay. Volt charge is fine. But now we have to stay on D. There's a Basilica Skull Bomb. Okay. Passing. Okay, let's uh, block there. They could have a trick, but if they have it, and they should use it. All right. No tricks. More lands. Wow. How is this possible? I'm going to put this on the battlefield. It's a good blocker for the 2-2. And the next turn we can go Chimney Rabble. They could be holding up to a X Gold Flash, although the priority came from Skull Bomb. Okay, they're going to just force force through force through some damage. That's pretty alright with me. Fuseling. Okay. So maybe we have to raise them. The thing is, this is going to be. This is going to be big. This is going to be big. Maybe we could go Usling into ball charge. Now let's push. Let's uh, try to raise them. I will definitely attack with a rabble here. They have something. They have a slash. They have a hex gold slash for sure. All right. Oh, maybe they have a free from oil too. Free from oil gives plus two plus two to the creature plus two oil count oil counters. That could be what they have. So we have to be careful how we spend our ball charge. They might not attack here. Alright, there is a splitter. And if they attack with these, then that means that they have 
exactly that. We don't have a very good double block. Yeah. So... We could force them to use it. Is it... Is it correct to do that? Now we're just going to take two here. Oh, another rubble is perfect. Another rubble we like to see. Okay, so let's go to attacks first. Attack with the rabble. If they go to blocks with a 4-2 and they want to use their combat trick, and that is okay. Sure. Now I'm going to play the rabble post combat. That's fine. I wanted to have the option to use the ball charge. And also a fusling. And we are going pretty wide. Ah, it was a slash after all. Yeah, it was a slash. And an apostle. It's a 4 4 that doesn't have double strike because they don't have. They haven't corrupted us yet. I am going to double block here. Am I? I think I could definitely trade here. Powder. That's great. This is very good. Because now we play the Prowler. Step down this. And we can also... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Put them to 5. Back with the team. Three, four, five, six, seven. We are down to six. See if they want to attack us. Okay, another creature. Will they attack us on the air? If they do, they are dead. Okay. No attacks. Reservoir. If we... If we destroy the 4-3, then they eat these, and they have to jump here. I think this is a play. They have to block here and there. And they are down to two. But they cannot attack. Wow, why? Why did they do that? Oh, because... Yeah, because of that. All right, augury. It gained vigilance. X call slash. Ouch. Well.
Now we attack like this. We destroy it there. And we make another one. When I don't know what happened there. I don't think. I think I played it wrong. Yeah. I will have to check that out. I didn't realize that this uh, gave vigilance. We win, but we were pretty close to dead. Did I have a better attack there? Oh. Huh. I think my attack was really, really bad. Oh well. Got rewarded. Yeah, I'm not sure. They were going to have the Flyer 88 regardless, so I think we had to pressure them. I, th I still think we had to attack. Because um, they still were going to be able to attack with a Vigilance Flyer, so the attack was good. It, it actually put us in the... In the situation where we could win the game. Yeah, maybe maybe it was a good attack, but I didn't realize that they could have a flyer 88 vigilant. 85 vigilant. Well hex goes hex gold slash for the rescue. That was fine. Well this hand now is kind of good. Kind of crazy if we find the second the second red source. No red source, but this is a pretty fantastic draw for us do they want to block Let's see if they want to block yeah I didn't think so and now we have a very good blocker and then we can play full price for Jace get it closer to milling them mill range <laughs> this is disgusting charge forger all right not the worst. No attacks from them. And we don't find the land. I think we can easily play Chase, take it up. On. We'll cancel. Do we take it up? Yeah. We want to play full price for Chase. Will. Do we draw? I think we just take him up and just try to win the game by milling them. We have already a mill 18. <laughs> yeah, it should be pretty good. Edifice. Okay, they're going to get rid of the surgeon. We still have very good blocks here. Need to find our red sources. Alright. No red sources, but this is pretty good too. Number of permanents we control with oil counters on it. Which is currently one. Can destroy the siphoner. It's a very good blocker too. Get rid of that. And then take up chase on the three two it just pass yeah we can now mill them for 21 they have 28 cards this is kind of disgusting one more ticking up of, of chase and we are ensured to win the game <laughs> wow chase see what they do here they have they might have a removal for Urabraska Noiter. If we find our red sources, then we will be in perfect shape. Yeah, maybe a removal spell here. Yeah. The bull charge. If they uh, double attack Jace, then we have a very good block. Oh, sure. So this can be a 2-3 and a 3-2. We're just going to block here. Okay. Understand what's important. I think I can remove three old counters to play something. 
Come on, red source. There you go. Yes. Okay. Now we are fine. Yeah. This is more than fine. <laughs> oh, we are playing Super Friends in draft. Kind of ridiculous, right? Kind of ridiculous. Here comes the avalanche. Let's uh let's hold this raptor up just in case they play some hasty creature. Chimney Rabble. Rabbler. Alright, double planeswalker is great. They can exile to play something. It's a thrill of possibility. Alright. They have 25 cards. We might be looking at cashing in the Jays. Yeah, already at 23. We can mill them for 18. <laughs> Centurion. All right. Yeah, this game is ours completely. Okay, Eager Play Golem is fine. We play the Reservoir. We can find another mountain with Koth. We can take up Jace here. Play this. You can be made to obey. Play this. After that, we play this. And finally, we play this other thing. <laughs> and we don't even need to attack. We can just mill them out. They have 22 lands. Wow. What a performance from the Super Friends. Yeah. We need to do something about Jace. Deck is really working, huh? Slinger. They can sack something to destroy an artifact, which is this. And to destroy what? Okay, the golem. No problem. We are just going to mill them out. Yes. And an edifice to get rid of the scum. We can activate them. Get them to 13. And then we can jump there. No way they kill us next turn. Yeah, <laughs> slashing their own creature. Wow. I'm going to do this to remove the counters so they can attack on Jace. That's perfectly fine. Sure. Very well done. Very well done. I need to put an oil counter there. Draw another mountain. So you can definitely take up here. And one thing that I could do while well, we take up is we can always um, we can always do this. We could we could always activate the reservoir. Because we can remove the counter from the raptor anytime that we want, and then make a 1-1. One, one. They find a mountain. <laughs> this is so good. Then we can activate Koth. Yeah, we're just fine here. They're going to not tutor for a land, see how they want to attack us. They don't. So we remove a counter. And we make a 1-1. One, one. Go to our turn. Put a counter again there. Play Golem. Take this down to destroy 
the two four menace. Mirrodin, lend me your flame. Take this up on the Centurion. Play this mountain and say go. No need to do anything else. Just relax. Sure. Heal our artifact. And they scoop. Of course. Yes! Wow! The tech is working. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue to play our draft with our Izzet deck. Izzet Oil. Very good deck. We go first. Our hand looks pretty well. Pretty good. We have the Surgeon, the Engraver, opponent Mules. We are on the play. What else can we what else can we ask for? Jace or Koth? Koth looking great with these couple of mountains. Yeah, the deck looks the deck looks great. Red and blue is not a usual combination in this format, but I think it's really good. Okay, no one drop from them. So Probably go engraver or surgeon. A creature spell put an oil counter. This card might not be very good in our deck. I think I need to remove it. We don't have so many non creature spells. Let's go engraver. We could also discard it to the engraver. Oh. Nothing? Expanse, Termorphic Expanse. Okay, so let's go scamp. Attack for one, play the Termorphic Expanse, get a... I guess we are going to get a blue source. Then we could probably discard the Surgeon. Actually not very good here. Wow, three mana do nothing. If they have a flash creature, might be the case. Another scamp and another island. Another scamp and another island that we will be happy discarding here. Reservoir, okay. First the scamp, then the reservoir. Can also make probably a 1-1. One, one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to attack with one of the 1-1s. One, no flash creature? No flash creature. Okay. Because then we can remove one counter from the scump and use the reservoir and make another 1-1. One, one. Oh, charge of the mites. Sure. Let's see if they realize of that. We can make a 1-1 one, one to block their things. Okay, they don't. So, activate scamp. Build one to them. Make a 1-1. One, one. Block one of the creatures. They might have another charge of the mites. Complete devotion. <laughs> That's okay. Sure. And now we can put a oil counter on the engraver again. And another scamp. Question is, do we want to go scamp again? Or anointer destroy one of those? This is very inefficient, but we can do the same play again. So... I guess I play this scamp like this. Attack like that and pass. See if they repeat the same pattern. Edifice. Sure. Going to destroy this camp. Okay. So we deal one to them and make another one one. 
they don't have good attacks anymore. I don't want to discard anything. I'm going to just put a oil counter here. Volt charge is amazing. But I'm just going to anoint her. The 3 2. And then attack. 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 All right. Then we can put another reservoir counter somewhere else. Do at least. That's fine. And apply buddy rats. Okay. They don't have attacks still. Let's put it here. Ooh, monumental facade. Do we need that? Let's proliferate first. So what we could do is we could... Uh, what's their best play here? If we attack there, then we have very good attacks. Destroy that. Proliferate. Or play the Strider. I think play the Strider is even better. Play the Strider. Remove the counter from the Strider. Give it haste. Attack. Oops. Hitting with the Strider. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Next. Attack with this. They are taking it or blocking with the rat. All right. Chumps with the rat and we say go. And ping them for two. The next turn we can deal three to them, ping them for additional two. They lose two. Uh, yeah, this is a good game. We win here. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, we are going to block one and champ the other one. Activate. Oh, we don't proliferate. Oh, that's fine. We are going to put one from the reservoir. Regardless. Another land. We will go to attacks. Attack with everything. And this is game. We could have put with a monumental facade counter here too. But this is game in multiple ways. Good game. Oh, we still had it. It's it's not proliferate. Wow. We had it so many different ways. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, so we are already at three wins, three and oh. This is already 1000 gems and two packs. So that's the minimum that you want to see in your in your draft, ooh, scamp plus thrumming birds. We would like to have a blue source. Ah, uh, do we keep these? Are we going to draw the blue source? I'm going to take the risk. We are being punished by the monumental facade. But if we draw a blue source, then we are so good with this hand. Two, prolif two proliferators. Opponent moles. Yeah, we are having a little bit of luck, but let's hope we are not punished by keeping this hand. Okay, so start with the scamp turn one. Always a very good start to get the beat down going. Yes! Never punished. Never ever punished. 
No hex gold slash, please. Now we need something to proliferate, and we might be looking at using the facade. Alright. That's okay. Oh, reservoir is great. Wow, reservoir is great. Sure. Reservoir. The ramming bird. Attack you in the air for two. Proliferate. Wow. Kind of disgusting. They are the red green deck, so they are a powerful deck. We will never block these. Huh? Okay, I thought they had something. Maybe giant growth. Let's see what they do. The one ping a turn is pretty good. We can also start making one ones. Yeah, double thrumming, but we need to find our oil creatures and we should be great. Okay, equipment. Too many equipment for the red green deck. But that is a very good two drop regardless. Okay, we ping them for one. We're now going to put the um, counter here as well. And there's a hex gold slash. Perfect. So we can play the rabble, but we don't have a good attack with the rabble. I think that's still the play to make. Or we can make one once. Interesting. Hmm. We could do... Rabble is a good blocker for the 2-2 as well. Let's just attack with the flyers. Take them down to 14. Proliferate. Twice. The facade is being proliferated too. And then chimney rabble just on defense. Yeah, so learn that they don't play. Well, we have covered some sort of creature in the air with the hex gold slash. Let's hope they cannot put something in the air. Because otherwise, these and these we have pretty covered. They could have combat tricks. That's probably what they have. We need to find more oil creatures. Even our planeswalkers, that would be so good. Ball charge. Okay. That's fine. They spend their turn dealing these just to attack with the 2 2. But they cannot attack with the 3 1 unless they have. Free from flesh that they could have. Or they move just the. Uh, oh, okay. That's alright too. Oh. Oh, first strike trample. Sure. New blocks. Down to 15. We are going to ping them for one. Put a counter. Let's put it now on the thrumming bird because if we draw the thing that. Deals combat damage, then we also want... Deals damage on ETB, then we want to... Probably use it. I don't know about playing the land here. Attack, and attack on the air. Once again. We're down to 11. But we have a very good mana sink in the churning reservoir. If we, if we find Axiom Engraver, then we need it. We need the land. But the land is very good for our 5 drops. We have nothing else than a 5 drop. I'm going to hold on to this. Am I? Now let's play it. But still, we can st we can sink 2 mana every turn. So if we find our 4 drops, 4 drop, and then another land, then we can still do the 2 things. Um, Here is a 3-1. We could pass, take the damage. Oh, this is going to be a blowout. Okay. Heal a 3-1. Pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. 
And now the synergy starts flowing for us. Okay, we can activate this. Activate this. Oh, wow. Put the old counter in the thrumming bird. Find these terramorphic expanse. We are going to attack. Attack. To in the air again. This one I'm going to hold. And just pass. Menace reach. That's fine. Oh, menace reach. That's not fine. <laughs> it has reach. Okay, we need to find something. We're at seven. We have. We are going super wide. Prowler. Perfect. Checkmate. Let's filter all the damage that we can. Yeah, boy. We are doing it. Is that feeling so strong? Yes. Uh, chimney rabble. That's okay. We can block it. <laughs> they cannot attack with the uh, Sky Warden. They don't have attacks. They can just attack with a 2-2. Yeah, they don't have it. Activate the scamp. Make another 1-1. One, one. Yes! 4 and no! And we are approaching Diamond. All right, here we are with another round with our deck. We are our draft deck is a deck. We go first. The hand looks all right. Oh, wow. Scamping to Thrumming Bird once again. Yes, please. Say hello. And Monumental Facade is pretty good with Thrumming Bird. Isn't it? Eker Synthesizer. Easeling is also very good. Easeling is pretty great. Easeling is pretty great. So, what I think I should do is use the free from flesh. Hmm. Let's wait. Should we wait? No. Pass the turn. Then we can put one of the monumental facades in the fuseling and we can start doing this plenty of times. Ooh, rabble. Let me think. Let's go Chimney Rabble here. They can make it a 2-3 and a 1-3. We could always trade there. 2-3-1-3. Three, three. It's a good attack. Oh, unless they block. <laughs> yeah, it was a good attack, but um, it was not a good attack, but there was not too many downsides to that. 
That's so funny. It's a good attack, I say. That is so funny. Okay, so. How do we do it now? We could basically put the counter here. And then we could go to attacks. I could attack with these. And this. Free from flesh. Putting two oil counters there. Trampling over. And passing. And now they are at 10, so we have a very good clock. They gain 3, but draw 1. Well, that was a very good play from them. Let's see if they want to attack us. They shouldn't. Right. Proliferate. There's more lands. We don't want to see many more lands. You don't have good blocks now. Very good attacks now. I guess we wait. They don't have good attacks either. But let's see what they play. We need to find our planeswalkers. Alright. Ruthless Predation. That attack from before. That was funny. Alright. The attack with Vigilance. So we have to double block here. They could have a combat trick. They don't. Sure. And another flyer. Alright, so we activate Scamp. Get them to 11. More lands. That's so bad. Yeah, we drew so many lands. This time, 6, 7, 8. In our first 13. So now we're going to take a bunch of damage. This is such a good blocker, the Raptor is. Okay, they get to proliferate, not that it matters too much. Activate the scum. Get them to 10. Find the a golem. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. That we didn't have the oil. Augury. We find off. We might be good. Not even that, maybe. Proliferate our poison. Attacks with a 2 3. We need a tapper. Oh, Jace. Jace, Jace, Jace. They have 23 cards. do we do with Jace? What do we do with Jace? Just... Minus Jace? Take it up, but they attack with everything, and they have very good attacks. Huh. So we play Jace.
We said two, two. Is wasted. You cannot we might have to take. We might have to take up there. Take up there. And hold. And see if they just unload on Jace. Ah, oh, wow. They have their own Jace. Minus three, minus O. Attack with everything. Attack Jace with everything. Sure. So I can attack in there. I could block here. Block. Well, they can always. They can always do that thing. Block there. Yeah, we are going to lose this game. Lose Chase, and we lose the game. Noise. Wow, so many lands. We'll give them the GG's, and we're just going to lose this one. Ah, well, yeah, it's too many lands, like nine lands out of our, I don't know, 15 top decks. Let's continue to play this draft. We are four and one with Izzet Oil. Just drop one of the, well, the first game. One goes first this hand, wow. Okay, and you're going to keep it. We have a turn one play. They have a Glistener Seer that we kind of go through. Ooh. Wow. We are already in problem, having problems. Jesus. Yeah, this is very bad. Hope that they block here. Trying to get rid of the Scryer. Need one blue mana as fast as possible. Come on. One blue source, please. Ay, 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 ay. ay. Well, let's play what we can. Well, Cough is our best draw now. Or this. This is a, our best draw too. In this case, I'm just going to slam this thrumming bird. Oh. We are getting lucky, opponent is mana screwed. Wow. I'm sorry, opponent. That's that's kind of disappointing. Well, five and one. Here we are for another round with our draft deck. Five and one, just got a free win. From an opponent not drawing their lands. Opponent goes first and hand looks alright. So we need a red source. The monumental facade has been punishing us. 380 heart. Uh, we are going to trust in this hand. Opponent goes first. A two more to win the trophy. Ramming Bird is probably one of our best cards in the deck. But we need to proliferate onto something. So we would like to see Planeswalkers or Maxim Engravers. We also like to see Scamps. And red mana, for sure. They mole. 
And we are playing versus white. Okay, so that is the opposite of what we need. Ay, ay, ay. Equipment. And... Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to block the 3-1 if they give me the option to do that. Because we're going to take too much damage from them. They might have a combat trick. And that's something that we are going to have to... That's something that we are going to have to learn to live with. Well, that was a good trade for us. Another Barb Batter Fist. Perfect. Yes, here we have our... Here we have our... Our land. We go Thrumming Bird again. Thrumming Bird. Following this up with a Chimney Rabble? I think we have to play this. Makes our Furnace Strider better oh mm -hmm. let's play the golem be man efficient i don't know what's the best play there let's be man efficient at least and you know what you, they didn't have the trick before and uh, we just continue to trade all right well, this is good news for us, because now we have a very good attack, right? Attack for three. And the next turn, we can go Golem or Thrumming Bird. They might be looking at putting the Batter Fists on the Spirant. Oh, for, three, for free. Well, now you're giving me a very good block here. Do they have something else? I am going to block. Oh, they have some menace. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Forgot about that. Well, they are racing us. Another equipment. Land. Give me a land. There you go. There you go, indeed. What we could do here is we can... Activate here. And go to attacks. Punch them to 13 and pass. So next turn we can give plus one plus one to these. We'll see. Something, we have to block something here. We are not going to take eight. We can also put an oil, on, an oil counter from the Monumental Facade in some creatures, then play the Ecor, play Golem, and make it bigger. As are those blast. Wow. But they are going to push through damage. Putting us at eight? Could they have another one of those? Wow, we might be dying, right? Four, five, six, seven. Well, scamp. Well, if they have it, they have it, you know? If they have it, they have it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should I experimental augury for something? I guess so, right? I guess so. Augury. Almost. Oh, we could be dying here. What do we get? Did I have lethal? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I might have missed lethal. Wow. It very, very well be that we have me. I have missed lethal. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. 
Okay, so... Ah. I have to go this way. Thrumming burn. And scamp. If they have another hazard dose blast, then I die. If they have another hazard dose blast, then I die. This is a good blocker there. This does this as menace. Yeah, I don't know. If they have another hazard dose blast, we die right here. And they have it. Jesus. I'm thinking if I was if I had missed lethal in the last attack. When it goes first. Oh yo yo. Am I going to drop these double thrumming bird once again? Oh we were in such good shape. And now we're not. What do they do? Just this here, that's fine. Monumental facade, come on. That's so awkward. He's a good blocker if they play an artifact and they try to attack us. We can block a potential 3-2. Yep. Yeah. Trading there pretty fast. Come on, red sources. Come on, red sources. We have so many synergies. Okay. We should have played that before combat. Yes, there's a red source. All right, I'm feeling better. Just another mounting and we are good. Opponent. Thinking their play. Veil. Okay. And that's a good setup card. You're going to take three. Nothing else. Jorka Dean. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jace. Okay, that's good. That's good. And take Jace up and keep this in check. And also proliferate Jace. Oh, that might be good. Um. Play Jay's full value. Pick up Jay's here. You won't stop our plans. Attack proliferate Jay's. Now we need another mountain to to get out of this. This at least is going to soak up a lot of damage. 29 cards in the library. Moan red, red mana. Come on, mountain. Please. Mountain is our best draw by a mile. Yeah, down to five J's and a Furnace Punisher. Red mana, please? No. 
but not too bad either. Chimney Rabble is a very good blocker here. One, two, three, four. Ha. Huh. Let's mill them for 15 cards. I guess I still have to. Yeah, I still have to put this on on the Jorkadeen. Well, this is buying us time, at the very least. I think I would, I should uh, be using this to put the oil on my three three. It has synergies with my my other cards. Okay, that's a good sign. It's a great sign. And we come out of this. It's a good block there. We cannot block the... Well, we have a good double block there as well. Hopefully they don't find the artifacts to turn on the veil. And Jace is holding this for us late. Sooner than later, we are going to find another mountain. Come on. What do you have? They are probably better off moving the equipment to the Punisher. If they attack there, I'm just going to trade here. I'm just going to block here. Yeah. They might have a combat trick. They might have a combat trick. Punisher, they could have Crescendo. Well, but if they have Crescendo, they have Crescendo. Not going to jump. Cannot even block there. So I'm going to eat the 2 3. See if they have a combat trick, Crescendo, or a Exhaust Slash. Maybe a Volt Search. Looks like Crescendo. Oh, Charge of the Mites. Yeah. They grow that. Okay. That was a very good one. Oh, unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. You can play this. You can play another Thrumming Bird. You can take this up on the Jorkadine. Our plans are beyond your Put an oil counter on the Surgeon. And keep attacking on the air. Keep proliferating. Yeah, not feeling good now. They had very good follow-ups. Nice trick. I'm willing to put two creatures in front of these and take four to chase. At least Jace has to win so much life for us. Yeah, if they move these, then we have to put everything in front of the Punisher. Come on, Red Source! Yeah, they move that. Everything there. So it's three. We block there, block there, and it's just four. It's still four. We have two thrumming birds. I like that. Okay. And a Leoning Lightbringer. Come on, Red Source. Please. Ugh. 
no red source. Play these. Remove an oil counter to put it here. Take Jace up. Uh, there. If I attack, if I attack with these two in the air, proliferate twice. And I have a good block here. Or. Yeah, I have to do it like this. Jay-Z is winning us so much life. They are at 15. They move that there. This becomes a 5, a 4-4. Four, four. We could jump the Jays. Not drawing the mountain so harmful. Do I jump here? Is there any reason for me to jump? Taking Jace to six next turn? Is that a good reason? Six times three is eighteen. Field on, yeah. A double attack. I can eat here. And then we race? Yeah, I think I have to do it like this. I, I need a red source right now. Need a red source pretty quickly. Red source? No. Almost red source. So I am going to attack in the air. Oh, leave it. And he put a counter here. And then I activate there. And I have a free from flesh that can essentially make these a 4-4. Four, four. So that's a pretty good blocker. And they are at the 11. There's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that's as much as we can do. Okay, we might be all right now. Come on, give me the the, the red mana. Augury. Find me red mana. That's it. Wow. This land will be ours. Holy Can't Jesus. Face. Should I attack with everything? Then they attack there. They go down to seven. They attack cough. Oh, I'm going to proliferate it. To... Proliferated to three. 
have a good double block. I have very good double block here. All right, they are down to nine. Okay. We still have a game. Okay, down to seven. Proliferate, proliferate. Wow, so unlucky. But we are at 17 and they are at seven. That's so many good draws. What? Interesting. Oh my god. Add them to four. And I guess we put the oil counter there. Could be dying pretty quickly. Come on. Something good. Wow, how many lands have I drawn? Seriously. I don't know what to say. Can we get out of this? We have a blocker, two in the air. So many lands. Wow. Pieces. Oh, six and two. Well, this will be our last round playing with our draft deck. Six and two. A very good deck. Is it oil? Opponent goes first, and ugh. well, again, we need to draw red. How can this be possible? If our first draw step is red, then this hand is crazy. Pretty crazy. If not, then we can do something on turn two and then turn three, but... I don't know. We'll see. This is the last round. We are 6 and 2 with this deck. Pretty good performance. Wouldn't take in their time. So. Oil is pretty good in this draft. In this draft set. Red green is the best deck, but blue red has proven its worth. Come on, red source, red source, red source, red source. Not a red source. We are playing 17 lands, come on. Give me a red source. Give me a red source. Please. Now. Red source. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we have a very good blocker in this, and Thrummingbird could follow that up. I guess I, get, I can take the first hit, because then we have the Gitaxian Raptor. Another resource would be amazing for the cough on turn 4. 
Honestly, two red sources from the top would be great. Okay, we don't mind seeing that. We're going to take three. And they're going to win three. Okay, they put a land on top. Blue source. But now I have a very good block here. They start proliferating on the raptor. And then next turn we can go anointer. If we don't draw the second red source. Inquiry, that's fine. Alright, we are doing great now. Because they don't have good attacks here. Red source? Not a red source. It's a very good It's a very good top deck though. But I'm thinking I'm just still going to do this. Destroy that. Go to attacks. I don't care if they attack us that there. It will go one, two, three. And attack for five. And proliferate here. I'm not going to block the 2-1 if they want to block attack. And then next turn I'm happy playing any of these. The Fierce Link plus the Golem. I might block, I don't want to get corrupted. We'll see. And once again, Red Source is our best draw. By a mile. Veil, okay. Veil is fine, so now I will definitely trade with that if they want to do the thing. Ah, oh, sure, 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 sure. Please attack me, I'm going to trade there. Alright. Of course. Trade. Thermorphic Expanse. Well, that's a red source for the next turn, which is pretty, pretty fine with me. And now I can go... Fusling. Golem. Attack. And probably that's it. Just start proliferating. And next turn we can go cough, destroy their Justiciar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Proliferate the cough. Are we getting there? would be amazing uh-huh yeah the deck has felt pretty good even if we drop this game they could play kaya they, they are in the colors of kaya they have they could play white sun scene one side one white sun's twilight they could have the wandering emperor so many things that they could have so i'm not going to think that this is finished by any means they bounce that. Sure. Sure. And they attack like that. Okay. I'm going to take four here. They go down to, uh, up to 18, but that's alright. There's a facade. Facade? Is it good? Oh, I think it's good here. So we can go cough. It blows up the Justice here. 
then these can put the oil counter on the probably on the thuraming bird with which i intend to attack because i'm going to attack with these and i'm going to attack with these three four three four maybe i don't have to attack with these proliferates everything if they have one of the bombs six mana then little things we can do really they could have one side one white sun's twilight wandering emperor the eternal wanderer whatever is it called it is called ossification okay that's fine to get what the thrumming bird the golem i am going to double block the attendant something else i wouldn't block i was just block here not a double block they have something okay plan of disruption the cough sure that's another mountain that we don't need And play this camp. We can remove an oil counter. Probably put it on this camp, right? Or on the fuseling. We can nah, we have to raise them. We have to raise them, right? This is four, five, six, seven. Eight. One, two. I'm going to leave it there just in case they have all oh, they would have used it. Three. Alright, they are at 7. And we are at 13. They could have a bomb of a card. They don't. Okay, I think we're going to get there. Land. Typhoner, that's fine. Oh yes, I think we got it. No blocks. Holy Jesus, yes, we got it. Remove an oil counter from there. Six, seven. Wow. Ooh. This was a close one. Oh, we are going to win it. Yep, they trade here, they trade there. They take two. They go to two. Oh. Yes. Well, there you have it. Seven and two. Well, the, the the deck was perfect. I mean, what can I say? The deck was very good. The deck was really, really good. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Brasso Robot MTG. This is not Historic Brawl. This is Draft. But I can prove 
that I can also play draft. So I hope you enjoyed this and we will see each other on a future video. I almost forgot. Let's crack this. Let's crack the packs. Well, we win 2,200 gems and six packs. So now we can go here and grab our packs. Oh, I should open them all at once. There's a throne. Almost have my complete collection. And there you go. That's it. Bye-bye.